answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. more fun is to see the developments on the park district issues with Mayor Hingard when she was finding them, giving them fines. We're going to follow up on that later on, but this is the one that we're going to follow up on coming up this possible next Sunday or Wednesday. Wednesday, I said I was going to do Kamal. Part two, Kamal. Now, this is what we're going to do next Sunday. Dalton School Deputy says she's at risk for Firing over raising alarm on money mismanagement. Did y'all see this shit? I'm always finding something. And then we're going to get to y'all comments and sign off. Thank you for being here. We try not to go over two hours, but do y'all do know that we're going to split this up and y'all going to get to see each one, okay? But let's get into what's happening right here with the Dalton School District. And I know uh, Trina Downs like, yeah, the motherfucker's crooked. Because that's what we were talking about before when Trina Downs and the Park District lady got into it because she said, y'all going to jail too. Now, let's figure out what Trina possibly talking about. I told y'all, don't disregard the message because y'all don't like the messenger. No, please. I'm telling you, just look into the message. Don't worry about the messenger. People didn't like the stuff Jesus Christ was saying. People didn't like the stuff that Jeremiah in the Bible was saying. But they end up being the truth. And I'm not saying that Trina is the people from the Bible. But usually people you don't want to listen to be the people you need to listen to okay i mean at least it would give a chance to hear what the hell she's saying deputy superintendent dr sonia whitaker is fighting for her job here at dalton west school district 148 in a lawsuit filed today she alleges she was placed on unpaid leave after she raised concerns over millions of dollars of federal funds she says were mishandled by the superintendent i didn't close my eyes shut the door and act like I didn't have concerns, that would have been way too easy. Mm. Under the roof of Rainbow Push Coalition headquarters on Chicago's South Side oh, were the God. cries of Deputy Superintendent Dr. Sonia Whitaker, hoping to be heard by her employer, Dalton West School District 148 in South Suburban Riverdale. In a federal lawsuit filed today, Whitaker claims the school board retaliated against her because of her race, placing her on unpaid leave in a public meeting last Thursday after she says she raised concerns for months to the school board and state school leaders over $13 million in federal emergency relief funds that she says were mishandled. $13 million for your race, girl? No, it's because they're corrupt. Don't use that. You're going to lose. It's hard to, to win a case based on race. Unless they say, yo, you, you black motherfucker, you this, you that, you can't prove it. So you better rescind that. I'm just keeping it real. You have to have circumstantial evidence, real evidence. I'm just real. And the evidence here is that they conspire. So tell your lawyer to rewrite this shit up again. Handled by Superintendent Dr. Kevin Nolte. I did what all my training told me to do. I followed the process. And to have to stand before you today... It's very much a distraction. When you take those federal dollars and not apply it for the purposes that they were given, it hurts children, it hurts families. Whitaker's attorneys say her speaking out should be protected by the Illinois Whistleblower Act. Whitaker has been the deputy superintendent since 2019, and according to the lawsuit, during her tenure, she received, quote, excellent ratings in all evaluated categories. However, Whitaker alleges she was still given a notice by the school board without due process, accusing her of 20 alleged acts of misconduct, including theft of public property and unlawful harassment, which she denies. Wow, this is the story that keep on giving. So we got to follow up with the school board because I told y'all, don't be mad at the messenger because Trina been hollering some shit and I've been watching on the low. Like, what, what, the, what she talking about? Because I don't discredit people. I, I, I mean, ain't nobody perfect, but I listen. 
I'd be like, wait. That motherfucker just made a prophecy. He's sitting on the side of the road. All right, I'm going to keep that in the back of my head. You never know. I'm really open. Like, I, I don't judge people like that. So, did that mean that I'm going to deal with them and I could deal with the personality too much? Maybe not. But I, I listen. I listen because I want to know. When we begin to hear from the other side, they're going to try to frame that somehow or other there is some flaw in Dr. Whitaker's performance or her character mm. that somehow justifies an unjust action. I left a message for the superintendent as well as visit his office here in Riverdale, but was told he was not available for a comment today. That termination hearing is scheduled for later this month and is not open to the public. All right. That two years Do we have something else to pay attention to? Yes, we do. This is the story that keep on giving. All right, it is 9 p.m. out here in Atlanta time and it is 8 p.m. Illinois time. I want to say thank you for you guys being with me for two hours and a half. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break this up into three sections where we're going to highlight what happened with um, Mr. Roberts. Then we're going to highlight uh, Mr. Thug, allegedly Thug, Keith, Keith, damn. Kamal Woods, because it's all those Keith. Kamal Woods, that's basically our intro to who is Kamal Woods. Wednesday, we're going to go into some of these cases against Kamal Woods. We're going to bunch them up to make them make sense. He looking like, he looking like a white collar criminal to me. But I'm going to just shut the hell up because I did not find any cases where he was locked up for drugs, possession. And I'm going to keep on looking. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep hunting. Now, until then, I want you guys to stay dope. I want you guys to stay sucker free. I want you guys to keep an open mind, learn from everybody, and definitely don't have that gang mentality because you're going to be able to keep your mind on the prize and get prepared for the future and ask the right questions. So we're going to follow up. I do have some drops in the middle of the week. We're going to go into a little bit of what the adults and trustees are doing with their campaign. And then we're going to move on into some of the other campaign elected officials. Y'all, I'm a little, I'm, I'm scary. But I don't want to talk about everybody because there's some people going to, I fucking hate Grace Leva. I'm just going to put out there what's the truth. Okay. I'm going to tell God to God it. I'm not trying to mess up nobody reputation, nothing, nothing, but I have a few more cases to read. I have a few more um, backgrounds to look at, you know, and say, damn, was that you? Was that you? Are you over here running for a position? I'm, I'm going to just have to show y'all because real is real over here. We have nobody, no connections. Even if we wanted to, they remember that they had locked my black ass out, right? I never forgot. I'm not mad at y'all, but I know y'all, you loyal. Y'all not loyal to Grace Levi. So I can't be loyal to y'all. I could be only loyal to the people. That's why I be getting in trouble as a nurse, because I think y'all know that I'm never going to be sloganary. As long as you move in righteously and you're honest, I'm going to support you and tell the truth. You see what I'm saying? Even with Mr. Roberts, I love him. I didn't, what he did wasn't totally right, but I'm, I still support him a hundred percent. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. The shit that I bring out, I don't care that y'all better know what's going on with everybody. And if I do bring out something that y'all aren't comfortable with, y'all speak upon it, say, Hey, I'm not doing that shit no more. That was before I experienced the Tiffany Hinger blunder that they called the mayor. And I thought she was a good person, but get ready because I, the, the block is going to be hot. Okay. I love you guys. And I'm going to see y'all Wednesday. Look out for the drops I have in between and my other segments that falls under Levi production. Gotta go. I'll see y'all throughout the week. And therefore, when you have a purpose for your life, it disciplines your behavior. Children not alive. And children your habits. Purpose gives life meaning. This is what the Pharisees tried to stop. This is what got John the Baptist locked. This is what got Paul neck chopped. This is what introduced the rule rock. This is why Moses wrote every jot. This is my guaranteed heaven spot. This is the gospel of Amashiach. Guaranteed none of this can stop. Huh. Sit still, clear your mind, praise y'all, meditate. See myself, small life, FaceTime, seek his face and his peace, renovate. Tap 10.
Elevate for heaven's sake, no pun intended. Recommended, delegated, like a senate. Out of box, out box, like I sent it. I feel the spirit. Y'all bless me with the wisdom, so I spill it like a beverage. Meditate in the field, son of edges. Read his words like he texted. Uh huh. Not a Bible, but a weapon. We the army. Why you stressing? Triple numbers manifesting. They don't know better. Adolescent, that's a lesson. Every uh -huh. election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. So those elections at the same time? They are. Bullshit. Listen, y'all. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why are you detaining me? You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Get this dance. You about to lose your job because you are detaining me for nothing. You about to lose your job. Every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. Was I was trustee. a trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know uh, the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. So those elections at the same time? They are. Bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Okay, next. A bullshit? A bullshit? Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.